call or text me at 973 If you've ever been around bad leadership, you know it right away. Find out what it takes to be a great leader in the book Don't Wait, Lead Now by Jim Lord. Filled with real-world experiences and lessons that you can easily apply to your own situation, Don't Wait, Lead Now will help you become a more effective leader, whether in business, family, or life in general. Start your leadership journey and reach your full potential. Learn more and order at DontWaitLeadNow.com. That's DontWaitLeadNow.com. Hey, don't you just love it when more assistant sports broadcast your games? Or do you prefer a silent motion-detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports' award-winning service that it's brings you play-by-play -play commentary, right live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrissessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973-713-5944. Needing workers' compensation, general liability, or commercial auto insurance, Gladstone Coverage Group has you covered. Gladstone Coverage Group is a one-stop agency specializing in many types of insurance, including life, personal, business, and Medicare supplement insurance, as well as employee benefits, serving many communities throughout New Jersey. As an insurance partner protecting you and future generations, contact Tyler Brinson at 908 698-0477 or by email at tylerb at gladstonecoverage.com and tell him Morris Sussex Sports sent you. Rich Latman, realtor with Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first-time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis, excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com Hi, I'm Rob Guswell. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well then look no further than modern acupuncture. Modern acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. 
up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Are you interested in a career in the STEM field? Then look to Sussex County Community College for high-tech programs in optics, robotics, engineering, machine tools, and more. Sussex provides a cross-disciplinary approach where students work closely with professors to ensure they get the best hands-on experience. The STEM industry is constantly evolving, so join this competitive industry and advance your STEM education today. Pursue your degree at Sussex County Community College by visiting sussex.edu slash apply. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here. The demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website, icshvac.com. Are you interested in a career in the STEM field? Then look to Sussex County Community College for high-tech programs in optics, robotics, engineering, machine tools, and more. Sussex provides a cross-disciplinary approach where students work closely with professors to ensure they get the best hands-on experience. The STEM industry is constantly evolving, so join this competitive industry and advance your STEM education today. Pursue your degree at Sussex County Community College by visiting Sussex. Set and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open eye. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti in the end zone. It is caught. Charge. Look for the pass. Here's a shot. Right in front. Score. And that is a base hit. The run will score. And freshman pull a check. Gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. 
Grouse over three. He got it! Ha Welcome to High Point Regional High School here in Wanderers, New Jersey, as Motor Sussex Sports presents the High School Wrestling Match of the Week. It's two of the top programs in the area going at it tonight in an early January matchup, as it's the High Point Wildcats who come in with a record of 1-0. They beat Hackettstown in the Freedom Division. Take on the Mount Olive Marauders who come in with a record of 3-0 with quality wins over Delaware Valley, Warren Hills, and last night knocked off Westmore Central. Under their head coach, Sean Smythe, High Point led by the legendary Johnny Gardner with 382 wins. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dan Cleary. Hey, before we get into this match, which pits one of the top group two schools in the state against one of the top group fours, we got to thank some sponsors. It's Creek Concrete Pumping, 835 Ringwood Avenue in Haskell, New Jersey. For all your concrete needs, family owned and operated by the Saldano family, their boom pumps have become the industry standard. Call them today at 201-445-3500 or email Pete at Pete Saldano, Peter, excuse me, at creekconcrete.com. We want to thank them, Pete and Cheryl Saldano, big supporters of High Point Wrestling and big sponsors here on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Also want to thank Sound Motors, Route 206 in Branchville. Sound cars, sound trucks, sound service. Owner Mike Curry is a big supporter of High Point Wrestling. Call Mike today. He'll get you in a great car. Call him at 973-948. 2068 or go to soundmotors.com and we also want to thank Mount Olive Booster Club and Mount Olive High School for sponsoring tonight's match. I want to thank Coach Charles Mike for getting that going for us as we're going through the Lehigh's here at High Point done by Tim Labrizzi. He's been the voice for many many years. Mark Russell working the clock. So I'm going to bring in my partner for tonight's match, former High Point coach, Vernon State champion, NCAA All-American at North Carolina, my pal, Jan Michaels. Jan, great to have you, buddy. Hey, thanks for having me come here tonight. Looks like we have a decent crowd. Yeah, on a, on a Thursday night with snow in the air, yep. a little bit of COVID, we had a good crowd. Let's talk about these Wildcats. Only one duel, but they did pretty well to Sam Cali. did well down at, uh, at, at Southern. They got some great wrestlers. It starts with Brian Saldano, two-time state champ, going to Rutgers. I think that's uh, that's why you come here tonight to at least see uh, Saldano. Boy, he's what a what a stud he is. It's nice to see someone of that caliber uh, in this little area of ours up here in Northwest New Jersey. Uh, but there are other other young guys who are following him around and uh, appreciating him, learning from him, and uh, hopefully he gets a match tonight. Well, that's going to be the big key. So many other kids that have been wrestling well for the High Point Wildcats. We said only the one duel they beat they beat uh, Hackistan. Uh, kids like Shane Wolf, Ty Woods, Troy Tiger, Roman Citro, Andrew Bravo. Those guys have done a great job. And the kids like, like Eric, Eric Holmes has done really well at heavyweight. But we're going to stop for a second here, folks. We're going to listen to the national anthem, and we'll be back with our preview. All right, National Anthem. So we talked about Brian Saldano hopefully getting a match. This Mount Olive team off to a great 3-0 start. Two years ago, they won the North 1 Group 4 title. 
Uh, they got some great kids on this roster. And, you know, we, we look at Amanov, they're tough up top. When you, you look at the guys they have up top, you got Anthony Moscatello, the junior, 190 pounds. He's 9-1. and one. His only loss, Brian Saldano. And they, what, are, what are they ranked? They're in the top 20, right? Absolutely. They're 19 or 20 have, somewhere? In, in the NJ.com. Uh, I like leaning into the one uh, that Mike Wildman's in. Okay. Uh, that's the wrestling writers one. Those guys kind of are on it. Certainly. And, uh, you know, Mike Wildman, if you don't know, folks, if you want wrestling information, go to Mike Up. His blog, uh, excuse me, Open Mike, his blog is awesome. Covers all of Sussex, Warren, and Herndon County. So, Mike, if you're watching, we hope you're doing well, buddy. But maybe Moscatello's only lost it to him. You might see Hunter Perez bump up and, and see uh, Saldano. He's 8-3. and three, but uh, And he's a pretty good athlete. He's a good great football, football player. Football player. Coming player. off a great season for Coach O'Connor down there for Mount Olive. <laughs> they have good numbers. This team is hoping to be the best public school in Morris County. Can't say the best team. You got Del Barton down Del Barton, there, certainly. where they can go and win ten out of the fourteen <laughs> weight classes at the Morris County tournament. So they they're they're bucking to get the championship again in North One Group Four, and do well in the American Division. But again, Del Barton's in there, and they they've loaded up the schedule like High Point has. This is the beginning of a great stretch for High Point, and we're going to start at 144 pounds. Good. Let me get in here a little bit real quick. I just want to make sure uh, people understand. We got Mr. Ralphie Gardner here, Johnny's father, who's had a stroke over the summer. He's uh, here tonight, uh, hasn't been out much, but he's looking good. So best wishes to Uncle Ralphie Gardner. All right, we got Will Gomez for High Point and for... Will Gomez, I don't have him written down. I don't see his weight. What weight are we at? 144. 144. Okay, here we go. One, yeah. yeah, there you go. We got Will Gomez. I'm sorry. I'm You're looking at the wrong one. <laughs> and Tyler Vienna. So, here at 144. Well, that might, this might be. Score 2 1. This is going to be 150, I think. A 144. Okay. We're at 144. Here we go. 144. Up top in control. Cross arm, cross arm here. Got a nice ride, cross body. He's out to the side. Won't get called for stalling. And these are the matches High Point needs to win. These toss up matches because obviously Manolf's got some here's tough the, wrestlers in there. This is going to be a tough one for uh, High Point. This boy, uh, Manolf looks pretty, pretty tough. He's controlling this match pretty well. Kamoya's tough kid up top. We didn't mention him. Riley Kamoya, Hunter Perez. We mentioned Jack Bastarica. He was a returning state medalist. They got eight region qualifiers back on this Mount Allen team. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Very impressive indeed. There we go. We got up to his feet. We got a chance. Twenty seconds to go, first period. Again, thanks to Sound Motors, Route 206 in Branchville. Mike Curry, big supporter of High Point Wrestling, and our friends at Creek Concrete, the Saldano family, family owned and operated. For all your concrete needs and concrete pumping needs, it's Creek Concrete, big supporters of High Point Wrestling for many, many years. So our first period will come to an end. We got 4-1 here. Let's see what Will Gomez can do on top, see if he has a ride. High Point's been known to, been known to be pretty good on top over the years. Certainly. And, uh, Coach, I want to echo your sentiments about Mr. Gardner. We wish him the best. It's great seeing him here tonight. Yes, it is. Yep. He was a surprise attendant tonight, I think. A lot of people are happy to see him over there. No doubt. His daughter, Rhonda Gascione, a tireless supporter of this program. Her sons, Jared and J Jason, played here, or wrestled here. And uh, her brother's obviously Johnny, the longtime head coach and state champ. But you had the pleasure of coaching. You were assistant coach at Jeff Hall then. Yes. Well, yep. We, I, I, I got here his uh, junior year, and he got a third place, and then we finally got him a, a state championship his senior year. Oh, Picks up to two with the reversal. Reversal. 6-1 our score. So good start here for Mount Olive. Well, he's having a tough time on bottom. He's got to get that arm free. He can't, can't let him control that. 
No, he rolled him over. Got him in trouble here. Got a couple of flags. And he's extra points. He's pin points. And oh, he gets the pin. Boy, they're quick. Quick pins tonight. Gotta like it. So, pin for Mount Olive with 59 seconds to go in the second period. And the Marauders will take the 6-0 lead as we will move on to the next weight class, in which will be 157. And we'll see who comes out. 150. Excuse me, 150. And that's exactly what Matt Olive wanted to do in those toss-up bouts, get six. Tyler Dennis and Shane Wolf. Wolf for high point. Tyler Dennis. And right. Wolf comes in with a record of two and two. Plays fourth at the Southern Tournament. He's a tall drink of water. He's pretty pretty tall, thin. Must have some leverage. A piano looks like they this look like they're identical. In the fighting for position, we got a Russian two on one here. See if he can do something with it. Not a whole lot of moves you can do from there. At that Southern tournament, Mount Olive came in third and they won the Brick, the Mustang Classic, which is always a good wow, one. Wow, wow. So this, this, this team is, is made to win some titles this year, individually and as a team. Here we go. And let's hope we get that far. Last year there was no team tournament. Oh, certainly, yes. Oh, we got a single leg, he's in there. Wolf squared up on him pretty good. He's trying to sprawl on the edge of the mat. Got to work the edge. Let's see if we get the call here to bring it back in. Nothing yet, still got control. He's got the winter on him. And we're off the mat, we'll head back to the middle. 2020, High Point won their sixth state title. That was a team that had Billy Talmadge and uh, oh. Devin Leibel and P.J. Saldano, the core seniors, leading that group. We, we did the Westwood match oh, they were, in, in right. the championship. Did, yes, yeah. And they went on to win it all down at Townsville. A little bit changed when we have a chance. We'll talk about the change in the team tournament. Okay. No longer going to be at Towns River. It's going to be at Franklin okay. High School. Okay, you got Wolf in there. He's in deep on a single. Going to try to get around the corner. A good defense there. Might end up with a stalemate here. Not much happening. Watch the knee. Watch the knee. Ten seconds to go, first period. And we're going to head to the second period with no score here in the 150-pound bout. So another one of those matches. No clear-cut favorite. And so early in the year, and guys have had maybe about 10 matches. Yeah, not even. Yeah, they're still getting used to their... Let's talk about this killer stretch. Mount Olive, Peterburg Monday, Southern Wednesday, and on Friday, the, the granddaddy of them all, Kid Atini. Oh, boy, that's a... High point. Yeah. Oof. They stay healthy. That'd be, the, that'd be, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, Wolf can put a ride on them there. What you got? Eh. Not, not for too long. Got an escape there. Yenis. First score of the match. Got that two, Russian two on one again. I don't know if he's doing anything with it, but he's got a tie up. Coach Sean Smythe was a terrific wrestler at Roxbury in the mid 90s. Got the front headlock. And he thinks this team is built, like we said, to win some championships. That's why he scheduled a high point on the road. He goes, I'll go on the road. Yes. Pick it up to two at the edge of the mat. I'm going to find out who's in shape here early on, too. A lot of kids don't get their, their full win until later in the year. Some people get a little earlier. 
And we don't know how many practices everyone's had because COVID, people right. have been shutting right. down yeah. things. And, and out of all sports, I think COVID affects wrestling the most. Oh, certainly. Not all with the 3 0 lead here. Again, this Mount Olive team, no real weaknesses. They fill out all the weight classes with a quality kid. They got good numbers or a big group four school. Are they group four? Yeah, yeah they are. They got a lot of kids over there. Defending North one group four champs. Oh, nice, nice. He's almost total control here, Bianas. He's, he's riding them out, got the cross arm, got, got above the elbow, he can put some pressure on him. 19 seconds to go. Not all the fans looking for a stall. No warning given yet. And we're gonna head to the third period. Looking for a cradle maybe, cross face cradle. Not let that gonna go. Run out of time. So 3-0 our score here in the 150 pound match. Again, I wanna thank the Mount Olive Booster Club. I wanna thank Sound Motors, Route 206 in Branchville, our friend Mike Curry. And of course the Saldano family at Creek Concrete. 3-0 going into the third. It's not over. All right, coach, put your coaching uh, hat on. What do you do? What are you telling Wolf here? <laughs> Oh, uh, go gotta, get them. You gotta, gotta, <laughs> gotta score some points. Whatever your go to is on your feet, everybody has their, their favorite. You gotta try to work that in. He's underneath there. Not much happening here. Bianca's got a nice sprawl on him. Maybe get a stalemate. Start him again. There you go. Tyler Bianca's in complete control of this one, even though it's only 3 0. Yeah, three points. That's not hard to get back. Take no, it's him not. down. Take him down to his back, and you're in good shape. That's what you got to be thinking now. So we'll see what Wolf does here. Bianca's protecting the 3 0 lead here at High Point High School, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary, along with former Vernon State champ, Vernon, uh, High Point coach, and NCAA All American in North Carolina, Jan Michaels. Got a single leg. He's in there pretty deep. Wolf is squaring him up around the edge. Yeah, they're off. We'll come back to the middle. 102 to go. We got a minute. We're running out of time here. We're running out of time. Hey, we want to thank uh, Superintendent Dr. Scott Ripley and Athletic Director Chris Dexter, Principal John Talame for having us today. Always good to come to High Point. Always treated well. We want to thank them. I think that Mr. Dexter and Mr. Talame, I believe. They might have been in my class a few years ago when I was here. Well, they were also on the last SEIL basketball, basketball championship yeah. team. They were dominant. They, were they won the SEIL in 95. I'm giving out your ages, guys. There we go. <laughs> Them, Matt Sweeney, yes. Greg Field. Yeah. Nice team. And Kevin Cleary is the point guard. There you go. No, rela no relation. No relation. No relation. I wish I could play like him. <laughs> Well, running out of time is Mr. Wolf with 18 seconds to go. He trails 3 nothing. You got to make an attempt here. You got to make an attempt. Something. Got to be. He's playing the. Not all the boys on the playing, not playing the edge, working the edge, doing the right thing. He's not going to get in trouble. And Manal is going to extend their early lead to 9 0, unless something dramatic happens here in the next four seconds. And Giannis is going to post a 3 0 win. And 9 nothing. Matt Olives will move to 157. And we can see another Bianis, Brian. He's 8-2, and two, senior. We'll see if he comes out for Matt Olives and for a high point. Who they got weighed in there? Dalton Yetter. Yeah. Oh. Not even Danny Maselli, I guess it is. Huh? We'll see. They only have one. Oh, no. Let's see who they send out. A little square young man. He's got some ready to go. Get a name. Waiting on a name for great Tim Labrizzi. Does a great job. Let's go, I hear the boys. Danny Mazzelli for high Danny point. Danny Mazzelli, right? What 
year is Dan? He's, he's young, huh? Zilly out there for high point. Uh, it's either Tyler Cummings, Josh McGill. We'll get the name in a second, folks. A takedown for Mount Olive. Looks like he's getting a cradle wrapped up on him over there. Far side crater, going to roll him through. He's working on his lock, I guess. Maselli's got the hands locked underneath there. Yeah, Mazzilli will fight out of it, but back point's going to be awarded. 4 0 our score. Matt Olive Boy, tall and lanky, and Maselli's a little bit short and stouter. Stouter, I don't know if that's a word. Forty-six seconds to go, first period. Matt Olive off to the nine-nothing lead over High Point. Oh, One of the best in Group Two against the best in some of the best in Group Four going out here tonight. Wanich trying to work on that half Nelson. Might want to get out to the side with it. Oh, going for that cross face cradle again. I think he has. Yeah, he's got it locked up. He's got it locked up pretty good. 25 yeah. seconds to go. He's always going to fight out of it. He's still in trouble. Picking up the back points. 6 0. One more time. He's looking for it again. Does he have enough time to do it? Seven seconds. He's got a hustle. He's going to get it. Oh, boy. Oh, he, he might get go. it right at the buzzer. Let's see. Was going to give it to him, and he'll just get the back points. Almost gets it. It's actually wrestling is Josh McGill. He's a senior. He's two and three. So McGill with the nine nothing lead after one period. Almost got Mazzilli stuck a couple of times there, but credit to Mazzilli to get it off his back. There's a chance for Mazzilli. Do you get to be on top? Oh, you can put a cradle on him or work something. Okay. Going for a ride a little bit, riding him. Trying to get him back to the mat if he can. Gil trying to get out to get his one. A front trip. Didn't quite work. And nope, not right. yet. Got those hands locked. Oh. That Nothing length is yet. That length is tough. It, it's a lot of pressure on him. Still got control. Yep. Good job looking, by McGill to fight yeah, off. He's looking to sprawl a little bit, get that leg back. Mazzilli hanging tough for high point, and there he gets the reversal. 11-0. Right now, bonus points in the offing for the Marauders. They're at 157 pounds. They already have a 9-0 team lead. Mazzelli can stay off his back, there's a victory for High Point. I think that's what we're looking at now. Nine nothing, middle of the second period. Now he's got another cradle locked up almost. Yes, he does. He's got 30 seconds. Let's see if you can turn him. If you can keep it out of major would be a success for Mazzelli. Absolutely. Four point win here, that'd be, you gotta do what you can. You're not gonna win every match, but you gotta make sure you save Save some point, team Absolutely. points. Absolutely. Trying to turn Mazzelli, 12 got, seconds. He's got some nice pressure on him. Up. He's on his knee. He's to... And the second period is going to come to an end with McGill with a commanding 11-0 lead. We'll head to the third period. So Mazzilli hanging tough, but the long, lanky McGill has the big lead. 
He's working that cradle, cross saves cradle again. Miguel looking to the bench. Maybe Maselli figured, had to get out of that cradle, that's gonna be a good thing. Got a, got a half Nelson working on top. With a one on one on the far side. Pulling Using him, that strength pulling, and leverage. Uh, he's pulling him across, it's working, doing a good job there on top. And there's oh. the pin with 1.26 to go in the third period. And it'll be now 15-0, Mount Olive. Out of the gate. Couple of pins, a three nothing decision. And we will move to 165 pounds. And Sixty-five pounds. We'll see who comes out for high point. Dalton Yetter. Brian Bennis. Brian Bennis will be out here for Matt Olive. Dalton Yetter, sophomore, just one match, zero and one. And Bennis is Brian eight, Bennis, eight, 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 eight two, two yeah. senior, jumps out to. We got that cross face cradle. Yeah, we got him locked up already. He, he's we know in good shape. Got the two nothing lead with the takedown. Uh, that looks kind of like what the high point boys used to do back in a couple years ago. A lot of cradling <laughs> well, up we here in the mountain. Used to joke that they used to say Mesopotamia was the cradle of civilization. We think it's one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they brought that down down that Morris County a little bit. There, he's got it. In, he's got it locked in there good. Yeah, he does. Just a matter of time right now. Yetter trying his best to stay off his back. Doesn't look promising with no. 105 to go. Yeah, you gotta get that shoulder down. It's good, maybe. So the good. Bettis brothers getting wins tonight and another fall for Mount Olive. As they will push the lead to 21-0. Again, I wanna thank Mount Olive Booster Club, Sound Motors and Branchville. Mike Curry, our buddy, big supporter of High Point Athletics. Go to sandmotors.com and to the Saldano family, Creek Concrete. Go to creekconcrete.com for all your concrete needs. Here's a look at the Matt Olive side. Off to a great start. Moved to 175 pounds. This could be Joe Pauls, maybe. It'll be Joe Pauls and Hunter Perez. Perez coming off a monster football season. Perez's record, eight and three. There's a takedown already. He's got a Turk in there. Got that bottom leg hooked with his leg. And we, we talked beforehand, this is gonna be a tough battle for High Point to begin with, but they can't get stuck all the time. They gotta stay no, off the back. Certainly. They, we, they start at the right spot for Mount Olive. They, they certainly they, do. You get, you get on the roll, that helps helps the rest of your guys. Get a little confidence, and we're going to get some back points here almost. I got to see oh. Hunter, Hunter Perez play football against Sparta, and he was he was by far, the, that night, the best player okay. on the field. Wow. That's Sparta. They're a good football they, team. They beat Sparta. Yeah. Wow. Got, got an arm bar in there. One on one on the other side. He's fighting it pretty well, though. Oh, we got a arm bar and a half Nelson. You don't want to be on bottom here. Nope. That's not a fun, fun spot. He's fighting though. He's fighting. Oh Lord, help me. Joe, uh, Paul's 0-3 coming into this match. Ouch. And Perez has got him. 45 seconds to go. There's the fall. So another first period pin for the Marauders. With 45 seconds to go, and they are off to a lightning quick 27-0 lead. We're going to be home, they'll be home for uh, their, <laughs> their, their, their ice cream tonight. <laughs> so we're going to move to 190 pounds. This is the interesting one. Let's see who goes out. Who's got to go out first, I think. Uh, Mount Olive. Okay. Are they going to send out? 
Muscatello, whose only loss is to Saldano. Really not have much choice, because we were thinking maybe they'd send Perez out right. tonight. Is that, that Muscatello? That's Muscatello. Oh, great. Very nice. The square, good-looking kid, square. Well, the great wrestling family out yes, of Lenape Valley. certainly. His dad was Gil. Good Gil. Right. His, his uncle, uncle, Matt. Matt, the coach of Jefferson, was an All-American at College of New Jersey. Nice. And out comes Brian Saldano. Here we go. This is what people <clears> come <throat> to see right here. Brian with 96 career wins. All right. And he's a powerhouse. Going to, going to Rutgers, two-time state champ. Looking to join Nikki Frankenvilla in the three-time state champ club. Nikki part of that magical 2011 year when him and Billy Smith, the assistant coach currently, <clears throat> Ethan Orr and Drew Wagenhofer all won state titles. It was a magical day down in Atlantic City. I was lucky enough to have uh, Brian's mother and father in the classroom here at High Point. Nice young people. Now they're nice middle-aged people, I believe. <laughs> what, what's that make you, Coach? <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> Good old boy. And I love that these two are banging heads again. Yes, they, yes. They met last week. Yeah. You got quality kids. Send them out there. This is what people want to see. Good against good. Well, Brian, he's got some unorthodox stuff. He's in there in a double leg. He's got a... Whoa, he had a... Oh. And it must have told him he deep trouble. Can he get off the... He had a bear back. hug. Bear hug. He's got his three back. I'm hoping he doesn't pin him because I want to see him wrestle more. <clears throat> in trouble now, but Moxitello, good job. Gets off the mat. Well, he's in the middle. So done. He must have some power. He Just had, a little bit. Yeah, he, got, he had, had a bear hug. It didn't look like he had too much, but he... He bent him in. And Brian, not only a great wrestler, a great kid, too. Yeah, nice young man. Yes, he is. Rutgers is very lucky to be having a, getting a fellow like him. Scott Goodell, the coach down there at Rutgers. One of Johnny Gartner's uh, fellow uh, wrestlers back in the day. I think he made it to the finals in 1990, Goodell for Jackson. I believe he lost to Brian Untert from Pope okay, John. Okay, there we go. Yes, yes. We got a leg in, we got a half. He's already got some back points. We're not going to give him any more. He already, he already got three out of this hold. He would have had to let him get to his belly. He might, he might get a pin. Eh, we're running out of time here. 5 0 our score, three seconds to go in the first period. And again, I love that Coach Smite said, you know what? Go out there, Muscadello. Yeah, what a great, what a great job that is. Absolutely. And how lucky we are to watch this Saldano kid wrestle. It's been an absolute treat for the last four years watching this young man wrestle. Keeps his base to start. Uh, he won the state title at 182, I believe, last year. Yes. And right. now he's at 190. <laughs> he's got a wizard. Didn't really kind of just base himself up. Got a wizard and got his uh, one escape. 9-0 our score. Let's see what kind of takedown we have. Now, this was like an individual we tournament. Got, we got a double here. He's done on a double pretty deep. And you're not going to flip him over. No, no that's no. not going to happen. 11-0. No. I was going to say, if this was an individual tournament, a lot of people would be leaving after this match. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a, a barely a tight waist here. Now, Muscatello is a good wrestler. Yeah, very and good. And Brian yeah. Saldano is just dominating yes. and gets the pin. Yeah. Unbelievable. But good job on that coach over there to put him out there. Uh, and Saldano will move to 8-0. Oh. Feel bad for Muscatello a little bit, but that's how you get better, wrestling them kids. You wrestle the best, you get better. Uh, High point gets on the scoreboard. They trail 27-6 to six as we'll head to 215 pounds. Again, I want to thank Matt All Booster Club. Coach Soren Smythe helping us with that. <clears throat> this is Ripley, I think, from High Point. Yep. Noah Ripley. This might be Riley Kamoa. Got it. 
Riley yeah. Kamoa is going out there. Eight and two record. That's Ripley, yeah. Ripley's been around. He, he's been in a scrap or two. Right? Riley Kamoa won the Brick Tournament. Whoa. And last night got a loss. He lost to Henry Freen from West Morris. Got pinned in 127. But that happens with the big boys. Yes. You know, <laughs> You're going to get pinned yeah. sometimes. Speaking of the big boys, I'm looking over here to the right in the stands. I see a former, uh, another high point uh, uh, state champion. Yeah, Mr. Swanson. Freddie Swanson. The first high point state the champion. The first. He, he wrestled for the great Butchie Ansbach. Yes, he did. The late great Butchie Ansbach, the godfather of and he, uh, the wrestling here, started the program before Jeff Hole put it on the map. And Fred Swanson was a teacher at Vernon when I was there. He coached me my oh, really? junior year. He, he was there for one year, so he helped, he helped me out. He's a good fellow. He's a good farmer in town over in Lafayette. Still a, a working farmer. Daughter Nora was an outstanding basketball player here at High Point. There we, he had a couple, couple other the twin daughters who were very intelligent, nice young women. Here for the Swanson family. All right. So Ripley <coughs> and Kamoya. So we said Riley 8 and 2 got that first loss, well, second loss last night. But you win the Mustang tournament down in Brick. You're doing something right. Wow, nice, yeah. Who'd they wrestle? Oh, West Morris. West, West Morris last right. night. They, they beat the Wolfpack. It oh, a lot of there. forfeits. Nice, okay. Good action there for the big guys. On the edge, good action. A, a state of how wrestling's going, West Morris. Group 4 school, a great program. Kenny Rossi, terrific coach. Yes. They had a forfeit six matches last night. Was that a COVID situation? Must I'm not part. sure, but it just... Yeah. It's just sad. It saddens me that big programs aren't filling out lineups. Yes, yeah. No score 15 seconds to go here in the 215-pound bout. It's been all Mount Olive, 27-6. Thanks for joining us here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary, along with former Vernon State champ, high point coach, and Division I All-American from North Carolina, my buddy J.M. Michaels. There we go. So we'll head to the second period with no score. You got you got Coach Smith over here taking the uh, taking get the, the big boys taking the lead with the big fellows. Former region champ from here, Kyle Stoll, used to tell me, he goes, I became a man in a wrestling room because Billy Smith would come in there and lump him <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> Kyle did a great job. He was part of that team that needed five straight pins to win the state title yes. against Hanover Park, and they did it. Yes. Bobby McConnell was in there. Kyle Stoll. What a great win. You got a good ride here on top here. He's, he's got one, two one-on-ones, it looks like. Nothing... Almost a tilt there. Trying to get his hands free. Might have to move up to some kind of pinning situation. I don't know if that's just a ride. Is that, yeah, can you call that stalling on top if you're just riding the one-on-ones? We'll see, we haven't had a stall call yet tonight. No, I guess we're, gonna, we're not gonna get them tonight. Different referees have different ideas, which makes it a a little bit tough coaching sometimes you get one ref one way right. and, you know it's but you figure it out early and go with it he's on the edge of the mat you get Matt out looking for a stall with 38 seconds to go here in the second period get off the mat and get a new start if you're on bottom Ripley's dad watching intently the superintendent Dr. Scott there we go Ripley played football at Sparta okay played for Ronnie Earl there we go. My father coached with Ronnie Earl back in the early days over in Sparta in the 60s and 70s. Kamoya keeping control. Still no score. Ten seconds to go here in the second period. We could even got we could have got a stall both ways here. You know, make somebody do something. Get this thing going. We'll see what happens in the third period. Got a one-on-one -on -one ride. Uh, I don't know if that's a pinhole. Then on bottom, you got to get up. Got zero, 0 going into the third. As you pointed out earlier, Jan, this is when you find out about conditioning. We haven't had so many third period matches tonight. <laughs> Not yet. 
We've had one decision, 3-0. The rest have been all falls. Trying to break them down. Not doing a whole lot. I'd like to see a cradle come on top there. Ripley trying to use that strength. Got to his speed, knocked him down. Oh, the switch. This is gonna be tough to get. Get out of there. And okay, he gets out. One. Gets his one. Here we go, minute 30. One nothing. See who's got the offense. Ripley three and four coming into this match. Probably at 285, we'll probably see Jackson Utes for Mount Olive. And probably Eric Holmes for High Point. That would be my guess, but we'll see. Yeah. 50 seconds to go. Now we need, we need, need to make a stolen call here. We got this match is a lot of no action. Oh, there's a nice. Kamoya and Ripley. Kamoya holding over the collar. A nice tie. The 1 0 lead. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, nice job by Kamoya. Oh, nice there. scramble. Oh, there's an action for yeah, you, coach. We got some. That's good. We got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. We see what we got here. One nothing. Ripley trails one nothing. Kamoya holding on to the one point lead. Down to 10 seconds. Looking for a stall call, the High Point fans. It hasn't even been a warning no, yet. No, they're not. not and congratulations to Riley Kamoya. He's going to pull off the 1 0 win. And that will extend the lead to 30 to 7. 30 to 6, excuse me. We'll move to 285. Again, I want to thank Sound Motors, the Mount Olive Booster Club, Sound Motors on Route 206 in Branchville. Our friend Mike Curry, big supporter of High Point Athletics and High Point Wrestling. And as always, the great Saldano family, great supporters of everything High Point, especially wrestling. Pete Saldano, his wife Cheryl, big part of the Booster Club, along with Rhonda Gashiel, and they do a great job. All right, we've got a 285. Let's see if it's Jackson Utes. Eric Holmes for high point. And will be Utes in arms. The Jackson Utes comes in with a record of three and five. And looks like he might be giving up a little weight. He weighed in at 215. And Eric Holmes, 211. seven and three. Having a good year up top for the Wildcats. He came in the way into 240, so he's got him outweighed for about 25 pounds. They're pretty square, both pretty square young men. Oh, took a swipe, he missed. You <laughs> just laughing at him. <laughs> oh boy, he's getting serious. Uh oh, headlock. Well, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. Huge looking for the fall. Whoa, man Very right, close. Ran right into that. This is one that High Point needed, and it looks like they're not going to get it. And oh. it's a pull. Pin for Jackson Utes. What a win for the Matt Olive wrestler. 36 to 6. A big win for Jackson Utes, who came in with a 3 and 5 record. Holmes was 7 and 3. So another fall. We're breezing through this one, coach. He kind of ran right into that. He pushed right into him. That was a nice, beautiful headlock. Turned his hips. Had the arm and the head. We're not getting out of that if he had it that tight. So 36 to 6 our score. Mount Olive. Nice job. Jackson Yokes. Good job. Three and five. High, 
For High Point, it would be Nick Clayton, and for Mount Olive, it would be Brandon Barris. Nick Clayton comes in with the freshman, five and three. Brandon Barris, another freshman, one and two. Couple drink of waters here, huh? In the water. <laughs> yeah, right. 106, and they're both about five foot six, five foot seven. They're not like short guys. Nah, skinny little. Well, he's got some action going. The high point does. That's. As we said Clayton. Right. He's got to sprawl that leg back though. He's giving him the that leg's got to be sprawling, pushing away. Good job for Breeze. He's doing a good job, Barris. Remember, we might see, uh, yeah, at 113, we're going to see Higginson. Yeah. He's very good. Yep. We got nothing here. Oh, he's got to cradle up. We got to get that leg free. We got two. Two nothing lead for Clayton. We're going to need those five or six pins in a row again pretty soon. Yeah, here. you got a pin to win, <laughs> as Mickey Thomas said. Was, as, as he was walking off the mat against Hanover Park, yep. I'll never forget Mickey just looking at me. He goes, you got a pin to win. Yeah, that was something. That That's one of the more exciting things I've ever covered. Yeah, that you're, you're not going to see much better. Nope. Today. That was five in a row. Five, they needed five pins. They were down by 29. And I'm. And to his credit, James Laval, who's now an assistant coach at Hanover Park, he was the head coach, three-time state champ, yep. great guy. He talked to me afterwards with the interview, and before we went on, he's like, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> yeah, he goes, but he was so classy, yeah. he went on and talked to us. Very nice. You find that a lot of the wrestling coaches. Win or lose, they know right. how to win, they know how to lose. Right. I wasn't so good at that losing thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't happen much to you. No, no. <clears throat> Got a pretty dominant ride on top. Not much happening. We're going to run out of time for the first period. Clayton, one of those youngsters for Johnny Gardner. <laughs> Again, this is the beginning of Hammer City, Mount Olive, Peaberg, Southern, <laughs> and then the Big Daddy, Kittitini, which is going to be here this year. Nice. At, at, at uh, I point, <clears throat> we'll have the Peaberg match on Monday, and we'll have the Kittitini match next Friday. Wow. Southern matches away. There's a nice fireman's carry. Keep the arm. <clears throat> keep the arm. Keep the arm. Keep the arm. Four nothing okay. with the takedown. Hey, folks, if you had a business and you're interested in wanting to be on that Peaberg or the Kittitini match. Send an email to us at Morris Sussex Sports, and we'll get you on. We got some advertising slots open. Nice fireman's carry there. Clayton might want to let him up and take him down. He took him down twice. He might want to put my leg ride in maybe here, maybe get a half Nelson on top. Yeah, he's got a power half he's trying to work. No. He's going to have to come out to the side. I think the coach, yep, let him up. There we go. Smart move there. Goes up five. Excuse me. Uh, four, one. four one. Yep. Getting the escape. Whoa, that knee. got to be careful. Watch that knee under there. The visitor scoreboard seen better days, the coach. Number, the number's not really. <laughs> Uh, got another takedown. Let him go again, maybe. 6 1. Uh, yeah, try to get those bonus points. Yep. He's looking up at the clock. He's got 23 seconds. A lot of time it's easier to take to his back from his feet as opposed to just being on top. Look there in the left part of the corner. Creek Concrete. We can't thank the South Dano family enough. Pete and Cheryl, tremendous people. We're going to stop 6.8 to go here in the second period. 6-1 lead for Clayton over Brandon Barris. This is an impressive Mount Olive team, Coach. Yeah, they're very good. Yeah, they're Obviously solid all the way through. Favorites to probably win North 1 Group 4 again. And then, group 4, yeah, wow. And then they'd run into a hammer somewhere down along the line. Now let's talk about team tournament. Used to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday oh, sections. Yeah, now it's Monday 1 Top seed gets a bye. They wrestle the winner of four and five. Okay. Two gets a bye. They wrestle the winner of three and six okay. on Monday night. Section finals will be Wednesday the, the ninth Following. at okay. the highest seed. 
Friday night, the semifinals will be at Franklin High School in Somerset County. Okay. And then the state finals, all the matches will be at Franklin High School in Somerset County on Sunday. And all for in what, one week. Oh, well, there's mm-hmm. always the same days, yes. but they've tightened up the sections. They right. broke up the semifinals. used to be in the morning at Towns River. Okay, right. The finals be in the afternoon. And according to the great Mike Wildman, his blog, I got that information from, it's in the setup that Rutgers eventually wants to hold the state finals at their place. Gotcha. And they don't want to do a semis. They don't want an all-day thing. They want just the finals at Rutgers. And this is almost like a trial run. Getting ready for it. Right. That was a. I got that from Mike Wildman's great blog. That Wildman, he's the he's got some knowledge in the wrestling he world. He is the guru. He truly truly is. For a long time, he's been yes, he has. He's been roaming the roaming the match. He up got here. The, the media award in Atlantic City a few years back. Did he really? Uh, deservedly. Oh, uh, no doubt. Yes, and he's a nice man as well. Oh, he's a great. Nice guy. man who speaks well. Good fella. Known him a long time. Hopefully, you're watching, Mike. If you are, shoot me a text. <laughs> so we got eight two there. He might want to let him go again. Like I said, it's easier to get someone to their back many times from their feet. When you're on top, just trying to grind them over, it's a little bit harder sometimes. Clayton with the 8-2 lead over Barris. He's got total control of him. Putting a leg in here. Put a leg in maybe a half, Nelson. Burns is fighting hard. He's doing a good he job is. on Bum. He really is. He's getting a little bit outmanned here. He's a little bit underweight. 103 pounds. Giving away a couple pounds. With this lightweight, though, that's, that's more than you would think. And Barris stays off his back. That's huge. I think High Point was maybe looking for some bonus points yes. there. 8-2 win for Clayton. It makes it 36-9. to and now Burns, he did his job. He know he did his job, so he's happy too. And now we're going to probably see Tyler Higginson, terrific wrestler. He won the Mustang Classic and also won the Southern Tournament. He's 7-0. and We'll see if he comes out. And I believe that's him. Yep. We'll see who comes out for high point. Colton Joust for a high point. And Higgison, as we said, terrific wrestler. Nice throw by there by Joust. He's a, he's a, what year do we have for Joust? Do we have a Mr. Joust is. He comes from the, uh, oh, look at that. He's very nice. He tried to lateral drop. Good effort there. Just a freshman. Yeah, yeah freshman. Good, good effort. And if you look at the statistics here, the, the Joust shouldn't be... Uh, Shouldn't have too much luck here, but he, he, he's giving it a shot. He's a good man. He's going little, against a tough character in Higginson. Granby Roll, he's done more moves than <laughs> <laughs> in the first 30 seconds. Got the 2 nothing lead, Higginson. What year is Higginson? Do we know? Yes, we do. Oh, he's a sophomore only, yeah. He's young. Just a sophomore. Okay. So we'll Again, see. there's no weakness in this lineup. Yeah, They're tough yeah, up top, yeah. tough down at the bottom. Yeah. And we'll see if we see Jack Bastarica, a junior, last year's state medalist. Okay, wow. He's, oh, he's in there deep. He's weighed in at 126. Pick it up to two oh, and get looking for more. Coming through, very nice. Roll through. Hankinson in control. 4 yeah. 1 lead. Make it 4 2 on the escape. It's a good effort. It's Joust, I don't think he has a record yet. He's 0 oh 1. He's pretty young, yeah. Fortune enough to know his father yelling behind me and his uh, uncle, two of my wrestlers. Again, nice young men. And Colton's holding his own here. He's looking good. Higginson in deep, five seconds to go. Well, 
Trying to turn him. He's got him in trouble, but I think he's going to run out of time. He's going to get back points. Picks up the two flags. And he'll take an 8-2 lead. Don't want to give up those points at the end of the period. Want to fight a little bit better, roll through that. It's a good effort here. But as you said before, the only way to get better, wrestle those tight, tight, tough kids, and that's what Hagenson definitely is for Mount Olive. Yes, he is. We've seen a bunch of kids here from Mount Olive. They're not only going to do well at the district level, they're going to do well at the Morris County Tournament. Okay, right. Which will be at the end of the month, always held at Mount Olive. What is that, 8-3 we have, we call that? 8-3 yeah. here. I think of Mount Olive wrestling back when I was uh, in high school. The great Tommy Vara was a region champion. Tommy Vara, and yes. A, and a medalist. Okay. Yep. He ended up coaching where? Coach at a pack on. That's he right. Coach against him. Yeah, that's it. Retired from pack on. Now he's an administrator down in Florida. Saw Tommy about a year ago. Always great to see Tommy. Vara. Oh, good for him. I think it's some of the great wrestlers from, uh, from Mount Olive. Uh, Seamus McGinnis was terrific. Three-time region champ, 98, 99,000, 2000. Okay, wow. You got Danny DiColo, who's a region champ. His dad, John DiColo, former AD at Jefferson. Okay, okay, whoa. His brother's the head coach at Kinlon. He's got a Turk ride in on the leg. Does it move? Oh. Colton's in a tough position right here. He's, yeah, he's, he's down 12 4 He's got 45 seconds. That's a long fight. Some jabs, some jabs are fighters, though. They're not, they're, not, they're not rolling over. Good effort. Get back to his belly. And now I'll have one state champ. No kidding. That was 1988, Anthony Guida. Anthony Guida, 88, yeah. 152 pounds. Johnny Gardner took third that year. I remember that one. Ten seconds to go. 15-4, the score. Hagenson trying Come to get on, Joust to his back. Through. Joust is in trouble no now. Three, two, is he going to get saved one. by the buzzer? Yes, yeah, so good. The boy. buzzer will save Mr. Joust. But Hagenson piling up the points. Is that tech fall yet? We got a Not yet. 18-4. Okay. Very good. Down by 14. We got one more. We got a technical four. fall. Your joust, you're going to try something big, maybe a headlock or a lateral drop, front headlock. You're not going to score enough points to beat him. <laughs> you're going to have to throw, throw him on his back. If joust doesn't pick up a point, the next point scored by Haggison. This match will be over. Yeah. Okay. And there it is, the takedown and a tech fall, 20 to four. With 1.32 to go in the third period. And Matt Olive has wrapped up this match. If it's, <laughs> no, it's been official for the last couple of matches, one to let everyone know, mathematically, this one. So Matt Olive will go to 4-0, oh. High Point will go to 1-1. One and, one. and actually, we, we talked about Pierre Berger Monday. They have the HWS coming up too. Saturday, oh, out of Peabird. Who do we have here? We have Roman Citro. That looks like Citro. And we'll see if this will be Costa Rica. That'd be a good match, right? Costa Rica's tough, no? Very good, tough. Very good wrestling. Okay. State medalist, Ben. You know, it would be Connor Norris. Connor Norris. So Norris will go out there, the freshman. He's 0-2. Okay, it was quick. Roman Citro, I was, uh, I'm gonna put this out there. His mother, Alicia Acavallo, back in the day, was one of my first students, back in 1985 or six. Dad Tony, coach Dad at Tony, PCTI. Coach at Passaic County Tech, and also a coach at Vernon for a little bit. Him and John Bellavia. Yeah, nice, nice, nice family. Acavalo's in. And then the Citro's well known in the, West, West Milford in wrestling the, circles. Certainly, and the dad's West Milford fella. Good, uh, 
Yeah, the, our first blood time out. We want to take this time to thank Sound Motors, Route 206 in Branchville. Mike Curry played football at Vernon. Was a good athlete, good family, the Curry family. Out of Lake Wallkill. They, he's a big supporter of all High Point Wrestling. Check them out at Sound Motors. Good used cars there. Great place to go. And Saldano family at Creek Concrete Pumping. For all your concrete needs, you can give them a call at 201-445-3500 or email Pete at Pete at CreekConcrete.com. They're located down there on Ringwood Ave in Haskell. Family owned and operated for many, many years. The Saldano's are great. And the Mount Olive Booster Club. I want to thank Coach Sean Smythe for helping us out. Sean, when he was wrestling in high school, he wrestled with a, a family, a, a good buddy of mine, Stephen Curtis. They were pretty good wrestlers from Roxbury back in the day. And I think Sean went to Southern Connecticut and wrestled okay. there. He had a nice career. 21 years. He's got, he picked up his 200th win. There. But check that. 300th win last year. He's got 311 right now. He's looking for win 312. In 20 in years? 20 years. Damn. Took over the program in 2001. Wow. So he's really got, brought this mount out. He's got, elevated this program. You got an arm bar. You got a, we're going to work the arm bar and a half on top. Or just the arm bar and one on one on the other side. He's running them over. And, oh, good fight there, young man. Connor Norris, good job. Way to fight out of that. Good effort. Oh, that's going to be tough to get out of that one. He's looking for the pin. Tough to get out of that one. That's tough. And the fall. 41-15. So Citro with the fall. And that will bring us up to 132 pounds. 126. Oh, check that, 126. We just said 120. And we'll see who Matt Al is sending out. This could be Bastarica. I think it is Jack Bastarica. Clayton Nutter? Clayton Nutter, I believe. Bastarica Jr., 6-4. and four. Was a state medalist last year. This is a good match right here. This is one to watch. Definitely, Clayton Utter. Good job, coaches, matching these two young men up, two of yeah, the better ma wrestlers. Match is over. Might as well put good against good, yeah, as you it. said. Very nice. Clayton Utter, senior. That's how first match. That's how they both get better. Utter's first match. Yeah. A little banged up, I believe. We don't know what that's all about. You never know. Making weight. A little banged up. One of the key returners for Johnny is they want to make a run to the North 1 Group 2 title and maybe get that seventh state title. All coming under Johnny. Yeah, Butchie Ansbach, the Jeff Hull, the, the, the gentleman one. sitting next to me, and Johnny Gardner as our head coaches here at High Point. Pretty good company, Coach. Yes. Fortunate to have had, had a time here. Fortunate to be here tonight. I appreciate the... Invitation. Oh, we appreciate you having here. Hopefully Coach Hull's watching. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got to get him to come down here. Yeah, we'd love to have him on. One of the best guys and best coaches around, Jeff Hull. But tonight, it's been all Mount Olive. They made the ride up. He's got 206. single leg. He's in there. And they have a dominant effort going on tonight, 41-15. Well, others locked up in the crotch. He's looking for a stalemate here. We want to try to get a little sprawl with that leg. Get that leg back. Get the shoelace down. Hip in. Make that leg a little heavier. There's some skinny fellows out there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I was that weighty when I was in second grade. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Our producer, Vincenzo Sebastiano, is about that weight right now. <laughs> We're going to have to weigh him in for the next match. <laughs> there we go. Back and forth, not a whole lot going on here. Coach, maybe you can shed some light on it, or it's a high point secret, I don't know. Why do, do certain guys get the white singlet, some get the red, I, some I, get the black? You know, I'm not really sure, but I think it's their preference, I think, whatever you, you, have, you have a choice. You can I remember Billy Gould always wore the white. Yeah, it'd be their own men 
wrestling's an individual sport. And you're out there by yourself. You want to. I remember the look. old spatula. The, the <laughs> dad would wear the spatula. Yes. The kid that was the. Yep. Yeah, we had a couple. Mr. Uh, First one I ever saw it, and I'm sure it happened before, was Crudel's father, Eddie Crudel's father. Right, and T.C. Myers. Yep. Yep. You need the spatula, so when you pin the other team, you can scrape them up off the mat. That was there the idea. Go. A little fun that we had back in the day. Maybe, that and uh, Hurt the fighting chicken. We had, we had some chickens come out for the uh, warm-ups for us. I don't know if everybody we, appreciated that, but I know was a, we had a fun time. Joe Ryan was, what, at Demerson or Old Tapan? Oh, damn, damn. He was chasing a chicken around? Bergen County, yeah. I don't know if he ever saw a chicken. Mm. Got well, a cradle. Well, he got, uh, oh, uh, he's got him. Oh, almost. Good effort right there. Good effort right there. Well, it was Rick it, Fortenbaugh from the Trentonia would have said, Joe Ryan's seen the chicken. It's just in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good effort there. I thought, I thought, Utter, I thought Utter had him on his back. And Bastrika was a, a state, state medals. Okay. Yes. Okay. And Utter, I know he's battled he, he, injuries he's throughout always, his career. He's always there. Kind of cut him loose there. Good effort. Checking each other out. Doing a little sparring. Try to get close enough to make some action happen. Make it happen. Here we go. Here we go. Well, Bastarica takes the shot. Oh. Not much of a sprawl. We're going to sprawl that leg back. Get those shoelaces down to the mat. It looks they're both pretty comfortable right here. Oh. Oh. And he picks up the two. Three nothing Bastarica with the lead over Utter. Couple things you got. You got to be able to sprawl. You got to be able to get out up, out on bottom. You got to be able to take somebody down. And again, we don't know why Utter hasn't had a match yet. He may have been fighting an illness or something. Five seconds to go. Yeah, it's almost a stalling here. Again, this referee, he's not gonna, not gonna make any stall calls tonight. So Bastarica with the 3-0 lead as we head to the third period. See what Utter has on bottom. Again, great job by Johnny Gardner and staff to send him out against Pastorica. First match of the yes, year. Yep. Go get him. Good. Yes, it is. Two state caliber kids. That's what people want to see. No doubt. So, especially the match is in, has been decided. Yes, we know who won. You know, decent ride. And I like Coach Smythe. A lot of guys at that lead. Forfeit out. Let's yes. get on the bus. Yeah, They're calling for snow. Yeah, that's not fun. He okay. doesn't operate that way. We got one. There's one there. Three one our score. Costa Rica got a little, little uh, lazy on top there. Kind of fell off him. So here we go. We got a minute ten. We need to take down. Oh, there's a nice double leg and by Costa Rica. Yeah, you're not gonna be doing it sitting on your butt. You're not gonna be doing it sitting on your butt. 55 seconds. Costa Rica trying to lock it up. A good job by Utter. Uh, he's in trouble. And he gets the two. 5-1 our score. Looks like that uh, he was looking at Utter was trying to get into that funky stuff with the grabbing the ankles, rolling around. It's uh, an interesting uh, new style of wrestling. I'm not so fond of it. Don't know it too much. I think I might. Oh, here we go, a stall. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. And the match is over. <laughs> First stall of the night. 20 seconds, 25 seconds left. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not going to make a difference, but it gives him a fresh start. Maybe if I didn't get motivated here. Okay, well, there we go. 5 2 our score. Can Utter make a big move here? Yeah. Pastor Rick is too talented and too smart to give up a big move yeah, here, I don't think. I would think so as well. He dove in there, tried to get on the leg. 
That's and about it. Costa Rica is oh, going to come out that. with a nice win. Pick up two right at the buzzer, 7-2 our score. And that'll be our decision. As this impressive Mount Olive team piling up the points. Nice match right there. Costa Rica, very good. 44-15, we're going to go to 132 pounds. Again, I want to thank Sound Motors. You see it right there, Route 206 in Branchville. Our buddy Mike Carter, big supporter of High Point Wrestling. Let's see who we got here at 132. Ty Woods. Ty Woods is coming off point. a third place finish the other day, the and tournament. We got Daniel Barra. Yeah, I believe so. Yep, Dan Barra. <laughs> got Woods in there, single leg. What grade we got here, Woods? Freshman? Sophomore, Sophomore, four and four. Okay, he's had some matches. It's pretty square. He's got a little banged up knee or something on there. Woods came in third at the Southern Tournament. Wolf came in fourth in his weight class, and of course, Saldana won it. Okay. Hey, just real quick, Coach, I want to mention the High Point girls did real well at the Hunter Warren Sussex Tournament. The OW was Sophia Lombardo. First place finishes from Corny Weibel and Gabby Class. Second place medals from Noelle Gaffney and Kelsey Birchinoff. So the girls' program here really taking off. Nice job. The HWS tournament will be held at Phillipsburg on Saturday. Peaberg, obviously one of the favorites. What are your thoughts on the HWS? I know some people hate it because it eats up matches. <laughs> you only allowed the 30 before. Is that still the rules? They changed yeah. the rules so many times with yeah. the COVID. Yeah, yeah. Hey, when you were, not, not really you, sure. you were wrestling, it was only 20. Right, yeah, we could only have a certain number. Yep. We won't say what year that was. You, that a long was, time ago. 1979, I had 28 matches, and that was the most. Oh, look at that pancake. Look at that. That was a nice pancake. He took a, a Ty weak, Woods. Took a weak shot in. and Woods trying to get little, it. A little pancake. He's One gotta, second gotta left. Sit through. Okay. And the buzzer will say the man all wrestler with Woods, showing why he did so well at Southern right there. 5-0 yeah. lead. Now Barry took that double leg shot. His arms were wide open like an airplane. He did a under over pancake them right to his back. I know that they train, they practice that at a high point in the room many times. So we're running out of matches here, Coach. What, what are your thoughts about this young high point team? It's very young. Yeah, young and uh, hey. Only just going to get better. Way, way early. It's, it's tough. This is going to be a pancake the other way for this young man. If, nope. Got a ways to go, this, but this is a nice squad over there at Mount Olive, and they have a lot of numbers over there too. Whoa! Gonna try to roll him through. Yep. yep. Does he get him? He's gonna, uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Oh, no, maybe there. Uh, no, nope, uh, not yet. We've got a tough fight here. Yes, That's we a do. Tough fight. Come back, roll through the other way. Roll through. There you go. Hey, good job by the high point wrestler giving up the back points, but rolling back. Fighting the one way, went back the other way, and they used this momentum, rolled him through. You know, seven five, seven five, I, seven three. Seven three. Okay. Again, we talk about this at the beginning of Hammer Row. <clears throat> Mount Olive, HWS, oh. Peaberg, Southern, <laughs> and Kittatinny. The Southern match is away. Oh, it's here. Oh. <clears throat> 
hope you hope you have enough kids left after that. All yeah, right, battle those, those battles. Well, I think Johnny will make sure he's got enough for Friday night when the Cougars from Kittatinny pay a visit. Well, we make sure of that. Okay. Ten seconds. Oh, that's a nice move for Mount Olive scoring with ten seconds left. Gets the reversal. Seven five. Well, Woods should have tried to be aware. Should have tried to hold on for another ten. And we're going to head to the third period with Woods holding the 7-5 lead. Mount Olive goes down. Mount Olive on Saturday will be hosting a quad with Southern coming up. Okay. Southern Paramus and a, a school you're a little familiar with, Passaic Technical Institute. No kidding. Canada. There we go. PCTI. There we go. I spent 10 years, 10 years there helping out the... Coach Cologne. Oh, Ty let him go. He's up by one now. A lot of time here for action. A minute 30. 7 6. One, one point match. See who's been doing their running. See who's in shape here. Can go hard in the last minute or two. Woods, another one of those youngsters, just a sophomore. Again, I want to thank Chris Dexter, the outstanding athletic director here, Dr. Scott Ripley, the superintendent, Principal John Talame. Always great coming to High Point. We appreciate their hospitality. Hey, folks, if you want to get your team on, send an email to George Muha, George of Morris Sussex Sports. We will come up with a package to get your team on. If you want to see all the action, hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel, and you'll get a notification when all the matches are coming on. You got one minute left. Ty Woods up by one. And we still have advertising slots open for the High Point Peeberg and High Point Kittatinny match. So if you want to get on board, shoot us an email. And we'll get you on. Dan Barra here. He's a senior. He's four and five. He's looking for a takedown. We're down to 30 seconds. We're going to see what happens. We'll use your go-to. Oh, oh, there's an... Oh, we had him. And nice job by Barron. He's picking up the back points. Yep, that, this one's over. But Ty Woods, he had him. He did have him, but great job by the senior. Came back, yep. A little bit of a experience, experience there. Experience, yep. He's been in this position before. He's been in that position before. He'll rally here. Yep. Ty Woods, a little more effort on that. He had a nice throw. He threw him by nicely. I think he was too sure of himself. And that's a 10-7 victory. A good effort there by the Barra. Young man from Man Olive. Great job there. Come Man back. Olive pushes his lead to 47 15. And we've come to our final bout of the night. Let's see if we got people coming out. We looks like probably see Tanner Perez from Mount Olive. Who's coming out for High Point? Andrew Bravo. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. He's a senior, four and four. It is Bravo and Perez. Final bout of the evening. Again, I want to thank our sponsor, Sound Motors. You see their logo on the screen. Yep. They're located on Route 206 in Branchville. Sound car, sound truck, sound service. Owner Mike Curry is a big supporter of High Point Wrestling. Call him today at 973-948-2068 or go to soundmotors.com. I want to thank the Mount Olive Booster Club and Creek Concrete Pumping, 835 Ringwood Ave in Haskell. For all your concrete needs, family owned and operated by the Saldano family, their boom pumps have become the industry standard. Call them today at 201-445-3500 or email Pete at peter at creekconcrete.com. Yeah, we, got a, we have a freshman here from uh, Mount Olive, and we have a senior, Andrew Bravat from High Point, 4-4. Four and four. Right, and we have Tanner Perez, Tanner two and Perez. six. We got a freshman and a so Hunter a Perez senior. pick up a win earlier for Mount, Mount Olive. Oh, Andrew Bavat had him up in the air there for a moment. Looked like he was going to get some points, but he fought out of it nicely. Is this the younger brother we presume? Uh, Tanner Perez. Yeah. yeah yes. yes. So they, he's been on the, he's been wrestling before. Absolutely. <laughs> His big brother probably lumped him up a number of times. We got a two point takedown for 
Bravat picks so, him up. Coach, nice. give me your analysis of this this Mount Olive team. We talked about uh, High Point Young and get, just going to get better. But yeah, they're, this Mount Olive team's built to win now. I think they're solid. Yes, it looks like they've been uh, they've been wrestling for a while. Look, a number of High Point fellows look. We're still a little bit young and not, not really sure of ourselves, but they uh, look experienced over there, man. All of the, they uh, have a good year ahead of them, I hope. Best of luck. Nice wrestlers, well maintained over there. No screaming, no yelling. Polite, respectful, both sides of the floor here. You got to appreciate that. Coaches are doing a good job. And no matter what, High Point fans, a great scene tonight, a great thing to see. Mr. Gardner here. Oh, yes. Uncle Ralph, little Johnny Gardner's dad, daddy. He had a stroke over the summer. He's, He's hanging in there. He's a fighter. Cruising around in a, a wheel. A little baby taking care of him. Rhonda. Gashion. Yeah, Gashion. One of the biggest. Someone that's never put on a high point singlet. She's one of the most <laughs> important people in high point wrestling yeah, history. Was, was, uh, certainly there. There's, there's a good, a good number of them, but she's definitely in that in that category. No doubt. <laughs> so two nothing our score. We head to the second period. You can see Bravo is a high point kid. He, he's a senior as opposed to the freshman. He's, he's a little bit more physical. You can tell by their body tone. But that, oh, got a reverse. Watch his arm. Watch his arm. He's watch his arm. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it too, coaches. I was yeah. with you. <laughs> I was with I know. you. Just blow the whistle. We don't, Coach <laughs> Michaels was grabbing my arm. <laughs> we don't want anybody getting hurt. No. Especially me. You were grabbing me, Coach. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> get, get nervous. Oh, we got an arm bar in here. He's going to walk around, step over the head, get some back points. Oh, he let the arm go. Good effort on bottom. Cross face, maybe get a cradle in here. Cross face cradle. There we go, he's getting away. And you know, and looking ahead, high boys gonna have their hands full, obviously with Peeberg. <laughs> yes. And with Southern, but kid it's in he throw the records out. Um, yes, you never know. Cliche alert. <laughs> yes. Throw the a, records you, out. Anything can happen next Friday night. You never Can't know. wait to do that match. And that's always fun, yeah. Forty-five seconds, second period. Got a pretty good ride. Cross arm. New power half. Cross face. He's, he's working. I mean, there's some things High Point can build on from this match. It's not all negative. Yeah, certainly. Hey, every match you wrestle, you get a little bit better. You learn something. A little thing here, a little thing there. You watch somebody else. You learn something. 15 seconds to go here in the second period. For vote with the 4-0 lead. He's got an arm bar. If you, if you've got to hustle a little bit here. 10 seconds. I don't know if he know, was aware of the time. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Going to run out of time, Coach. Yes, he did. That was a good fight there by the, by the younger Perez, right? 4-0 our score. High Point, excuse me, Mount Olive came out the House of Fire. Racing out to the 27-0 lead with four pins out of five matches. Kind of set the tone. Take down on the edge of the mat. It's a good place. You always wrestle on the edge. Don't quit. Some people stop wrestling on the edge. You can get, score a lot of points on the edge of the mat right there. Good effort by Bravat. Bravat or Bravo? Bravat. Bravat. So this will be the first of several High Point matches Coach Michaels and I are going to do. We want to thank those sponsors again. Without them, we're not on the air. Sound Motors, Creek Concrete, Mount Olive Booster Club. And we still have some slots open for the Peaberg and Kittitsini match. We'd love to get you on, folks. So Mount Olive will host their quad, which includes Southern, Paramus, and 
Say County Tech on Saturday. It should be a good one, especially with Southern coming to town. That'd be a real, real test for this Mount Olive team. Yeah, that'd be nice. What Southern rank? Do we? Have, have They're in the top, top, yeah. top twenty. I know I saw them in there. I didn't know exactly where. I'm getting a cradle here now, almost. Gave up on it. Bavo with the six-zero lead over the freshman Perez. Whoa, easy. Oh, okay. And after the match, don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to have Coach Sean Smythe and a wrestler from Mount Olive come on, a little post-game. Post-match, I should say. It's not a game. It's a match. And we don't play. That's right. I corrected myself, Coach. <laughs> I caught myself. You got it. You got it. You got 10 seconds. This is it. I'm going to ride them out. It's going to be a 47-18 win for Mount Olive. It's a pretty good whooping. All right. <clears throat> so a big win for Matt Olive. They go on the road. They improve the 4-0. Four no, four no. They got wins over West Morris. Great program. Warren Hills. Wow. Del Val. Wow. And High Point. Wow. Powerhouse. That's powerhouse. Powerhouse yeah, lineup. And they're 4-0. High Point will go to 1-1. One one. They'll wrestle in the HWS. And then we'll see them on Monday against Peaberg. And we talked about the quad. That's going to be held at Mount Olive on Saturday. Again, I want to thank Sound Motors, Creek Concrete, and the Mount Olive Booster Club for sponsoring tonight's match. I want to thank my partner, Jan Michaels. Great job. Always great being with you, my friend. Dan, thanks for having me. I appreciate the We'll the time see you here. on Monday against the uh, State Liners. Oh, boy. That's always <laughs> fun. be a good one. All right, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with some post-game reaction. Post-match reaction. I caught myself again, there Coach. Go. Uh, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well, then look no further than modern acupuncture. Modern acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. Are you interested in a career in the STEM field? Then look to Sussex County Community College for high-tech programs in optics, robotics, engineering, machine tools, and more. Sussex provides a cross-disciplinary approach where students work closely with professors to ensure they get the best hands-on experience. The STEM industry is constantly evolving, so join this competitive industry and advance your STEM education today. Pursue your degree at Sussex County Community College by visiting sussex.edu slash apply. Samino and Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf Lawfirm.com. Oh, oh, got him in trouble here. Got to got a couple, couple of flags. And these extra points, these pin points. Are and he oh, gets the pin. Boy, they're quick. Quick pins tonight. Using that strength and leverage. Uh, he's pulling him across. It's working, doing a good job there on top. And there's oh. the pin. With 126 to go in the third period. And it'll have to go. So you gotta get that shoulder down. It's good, maybe. So the Dennis brothers getting wins tonight and another fall for Mount Olive. As they will push the lead to 12. They certainly do. You get, you get on the roll, that helps helps the rest of your guys. Get a little confidence. We're gonna get some back points here almost. I got to see oh. Hunter, Hunter Perez play football against Sparta, and he was, he was by far, that night, the best player on the field. Wow. That's not a fun fun spot. He's fighting, though. He's fighting. Whoa, Lord, help me. Drove, uh, Paul's 0-3 coming into this match. Ouch. And Perez has got him. 45 seconds to go. And there's the fall. So another first period pin for the Marauders. Really a tight waist here. Now... Uh, 
Muscatel is a good wrestler. Yeah, he very and good. And Brian yeah. Saldano is just dominating yes. and gets the pin. Unbelievable. But good job on that coach over there to put him out there. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, nice job that by Grimoyo. Oh, nice uh, scramble. Oh. There's an action for yeah, you, coach. We got some. That's good. We got 30 seconds. Looking for a stall call, the High Point fans. It hasn't even been a warning no, yet. No, they're not. They're and congratulations to Riley Kamoya. He's going to pull off the one nothing win. Young men. Oh, took a swipe. He missed. <laughs> you, you're just laughing at him. <laughs> oh, boy. He's getting serious. Uh-oh, headlock. Well, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. Huge looking for the fall. Whoa. He's in trouble. Huge looking for the fall. Whoa. Man Very right, close. Ran right into that. This is one that High Point needed, and it looks like they're not going to get it. And oh. it's a pull. Pin for Jackson. Huge. Roman Citro, I was, uh, i got to put this out there. His mother, Alicia Acavallo, back in the day, was one of my first students back in 1985 or 6. Connor Norris, good job. Way to fight out of that. Good effort. Oh, that's going to be tough to get out of that one. Looking for the pin. Tough to get out of that one. That's tough. And the full. Fun time. Joe Ryan was, what, at Demerson? Or Old Japan? Dem he was chasing the chicken around? Bergen County, yeah. I don't know if he ever saw a chicken. Mm. He got well, a cradle. Well, he got, uh, oh, he's got him. Oh, almost. Good effort right there. Good effort right there. Uh, he dove in there, tried to get on the leg. That's and about it. Costa Rica is oh, going to come out with a nice win. Pick up two right at the buzzer. 7-2, our score. He took a, oh, a Ty Woods. Took a weak shot in. and Woods trying to get little, it. A little pancake. He's One gotta, second gotta left. Sit through. Okay. And the buzzer will save the man all wrestler with Woods. Showing why he did so well at Southern right those, those battles. Well, I think Johnny will make sure he's got enough for Friday night when the Cougars from Kittatinny pay a visit. Well, we'll make sure of that. Okay. 10 seconds, though. That's a nice move for Mount Olive scoring with 10 seconds left. Gets the reversal. Seven full. For all your concrete needs, family owned and operated by the Saldano family. Their boom pumps have become the industry standard. Call them today at 201 445 3500 or email Pete at peter at creekconcrete.com. And control that. Oh, he rolled them over. Got him in trouble here. Got to put a couple, couple of flags. And these extra points, these pin points. Are and he gets oh, the pin. Boy, they're quick. Quick pins tonight. Using him, that strength and leverage. Yeah, he's pulling them across. It's working, doing a good job there on top. And there's Whoa. the pin. With 1.26 to go in the third period. And it'll have to go. Got to get that shoulder down. It's maybe... And we're back live here at High Point High School. I'm here with Mount Olive head coach Sean Smythe. Sean, big win. Brand name program. You guys went out and dominated. Talk about what this means to you and the kids in the program to come up here to High Point and do what you just did. The kids are super excited tonight. They wanted to come up here and compete. You know, for years in a row, these guys have been getting the best of us. It. So it's nice to come up here, compete at a high level, and get results. That was the number one thing. Compete at a high level and get results, and I felt we were able to do that tonight. Our kids were super excited for this match. How big was it for you guys to come out with the quick lead? Five wins right out of the bat, four falls. You guys set the tone right away. Absolutely. To come out here and put some points on a quality program like this, kind of put yourself in cruise control, make, you can make some different decisions when you have that type of lead. So, yeah, it was absolutely nice for our kids to come out, compete in the first five, put up some bonus points, and kind of put us in the driver's seat a little bit. I was saying with Jan Michaels on the air, we thought it was great that you sent Moscatello out again to see Saldano. You matched up your good kids against their good kids, and that's what people want to see. And a lot of times in wrestling anymore, you don't see that. Talk about those decisions. I thought it was great for the, for the match and for the sport that you did that. Yeah, I mean, Muscatel has wrestled Saldano quite a few times. It's always been the same result. But, you know, he's always like, Coach, I don't mind wrestling. I want to go out there and compete. And that's what I love about Muscatello and the rest of my team. All my kids were ready to go, uh, even with uh, Kamoya coming out there at 215. And uh, Jackson Utes coming out there at heavyweight, getting a huge win yep. for us. Uh, you know, he's an undersized heavyweight, and he went out there. 
and uh, he stuck with our game plan and competed. So, you know, to finish with those three in a row, you go against Saldano, one of the best wrestlers in the state, and just to compete with him, I mean, that, that's what we're trying to do, is get our kids quality matches across the board. And you, you talk about the so-called toss-up matches. Not only did you win, you pinned. Yeah, uh, we always emphasize when we get, this is my favorite part of the season is dual meets. I love dual meets, me as a coach. And uh, we always emphasize, you know, we got to find our seven wins and we got to find our bonus points. And we just kept emphasizing it all week and we were able to do that tonight. We were able to squeak out those bonus points and we didn't give many away. And that was the big difference here. We got a big quad coming up on Saturday, Southern coming to town, another big test. This team seems like it's built, built to win. Just talk about what this team can do from here on out. You got obviously the uh, Morris County tournament at the end of the month that you guys host and then sections coming up after that. Yeah, I mean, this team's, this team's been together for a long time. This has been a long time coming, and I'm glad this team's able to get out here and compete this season, and I'm glad they're having the success that they deserve because they do work hard, they do put their time in, and uh, this, is, this has been a fun ride so far. I'm just enjoying it, you know? Well, enjoy that ride back down 206 back to Mount Olive. Coach, congratulations. Go much. get them against right. Southern on Saturday. Okay. That's going to wrap up our coverage here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. A big win for Mount Olive on the road over High Point. And uh, just a great win for the Marauders. High Point, they'll go to the HWS on Saturday. And then we'll be back here Monday live against Peaberg. Always a great match. And then we'll, the big one next Friday, we'll be here against Kittatinny. So that'll wrap it up here from High Point. Big win for Mount Olive. I want to thank Vincenzo Sebastiano and Matt Corey on the camera. I'm Dan Cleary. We'll see you again soon live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network.